we are disappointed, we're frustrated, we're, we're, we're angry. We're angry that um, uh, the facts presented themselves in the way they did um, in, in Gavin's death and in Niall's death. Uh, we're angry that a third child died. But understand, the only person that's responsible here is Brittany Pilkington, not the Bell Fountain Police Department, not the county coroner, not the judge, not the prosecutor. There's one person that's going to be responsible for all of this. She knew what happened after child number one and didn't come forward. She knew what happened after child number two and didn't come forward. And she certainly knew what happened after child number three and still failed to come forward until more and more evidence was brought forth against her yesterday. A medical examiner has examined all three of these children. The first child was found to be an undetermined cause of death. That is a huge piece of evidence for us when a medical examiner is examining a three-month-old and can't des describe to us how the child died. That's a problem. To, to, uh, if it was clearly a suffocation and there was obvious signs of trauma or something in the brain that would tell us that exactly when the suffocation occurred or what have you, we would have been all over that, of course. Uh, those are obvious things that we're waiting on. That's why we take our time through an autopsy. Gavin, same thing. And so to have a autopsy come back with unclear results and the fact now that the county coroner says, wait a minute, I'm not satisfied with that. We're gonna go with our gut feeling that there is a problem either caused environmentally or a problem caused by an adult in that home or some other reason of why Gavin passed, we're gonna do whatever we can to assist law enforcement in determining cause of death. And so up until yesterday morning, that's still what we were hoping to find out from this last and final test, still giving this family the benefit of the doubt that it was a genetic issue. Um, and and uh, based on the evidence we collected uh, throughout the day yesterday, uh, I am confident Brittany Pilkington killed her three sons. And we'll leave that up to her and her attorney to sort out through the justice system. And excluding the husband, because some have said or suggested that how could he not know? He lives with her, he's, he's been married to her, he knows her better than anybody. Could he possibly be complicit? Do you, have you ruled that out completely? Based, based on um, our interviews with Joseph and based on conversations with the prosecutor's office, uh, at this time I don't anticipate Joseph being charged. Um, that could very well change. But at this point in time, I am unaware of anything uh, that links uh, Joseph um, other than the relationship in the family, which is a significant relationship, as we all know. Uh, he plays an important part um, uh, in that family, as, as any husband and father would.